Hello there. There's a lot of dry weather in the forecast, not only for the rest of the day, but also through the week ahead. Now, we started off in England and Wales once again on a chilly note, but with some beautiful spring sunshine, and it's feeling quite pleasant out there now. It does look as though the beginning of this week will be a little bit warmer than last week because of the wind direction, but the wind changes once again. Notice to be cooler from midweek onwards, and that means we could see a return to more significant nighttime frost. There is some rain around though, that said, as you can see across uh, parts of Western Scotland, out of Northern Ireland, into the Isle of Man. And that is just spilling a little more cloud into western fringes of Wales and southwest England as well. But for the remainder of the day, the further east you come, dry, settled and sunny with a light breeze and temperatures will respond. We could see into the middle of the afternoon highs of 15 or 16 degrees. That's 61 Fahrenheit. A little bit cooler into the far north under the cloud, a bit more of a breeze here and stays quite murky as well to higher ground. Now that weather front will retreat a little bit further north and west overnight, but it's still sitting out in the Atlantic and it's still going to continue to bring quite a lot of cloud into the far northwest. So here it will stay on the mild side through the night. We could dr draw in a little more in the way of low cloud and fog through the Vale of York down into Lincolnshire perhaps and into North Norfolk as well, but not as cold to start as at previous mornings we'll keep those temperatures perhaps up just above freezing for many so on monday then a largely dry story to begin with that fog will burn its way back to north sea a good deal of sunshine coming through cloudy with light patchy rain into the western isles and maybe to the west of northern ireland here a little bit of a nuisance but in terms of the feel of things maybe 17 degrees in the expected high that's 63 Fahrenheit. Now it looks likely as we move out of Monday into Tuesday that this area of high pressure is going to build in from the Atlantic and drift its way steadily eastwards. That'll push and weaken that weather front considerably but more importantly it means a change of wind direction, more of a northerly flow which is going to drag a slightly cooler air across the country and that will mean a change to the feel of the weather. So particularly on those exposed east coasts, cooler with a breeze coming in off the sea. Take care. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh. What are you doing? Fred, have you got the handbrake on? Top Gear. Whoa! Streaming now on BBC iPlayer. Here we are. Click. Click. Let's do this. Zip it up and then activate it. Fire. Click. 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 Let's go. Oh, this is cool. Algorithm. Facebook. Twitter. Data. YouTube. Zoom. Microsoft Teams. AI connected. Container file. Wireless 4G network on the moon. That sounds great. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the perfect pizza. Absolutely nuts. If this were a human being, I'd be sticking a mirror under its nose to check that it was breathing. That was quite bizarre. Pop the headset back on and enjoy the view. Ow. Cool. What? That. Lasers. Oh, that was a bit of fun. Your weekly tech update. Click today at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel.